Another news left out in the cold. That is how one bar owner describes how the industry is feeling right now. This comes a day after Governor Brad Little unveiled his four phase plan to gradually reopen the state's economy. Bars and nightclubs are scheduled to reopen in the middle of June. Joy Prechtel talked to a couple of bar owners today to get their perspective. Governor Little said the purpose of his four phase plan to gradually reopen the state's economy is to prevent a spike in cases that could overwhelm the hospitals. But bar owners are wondering why under the governor's plan they can't open up until the middle of June when dining rooms and restaurants can open up almost a month earlier in May. Overall, I enjoy the plan because it at least gives us guidelines and from which we can make business decisions now. But Ted Challenger, who owns Amsterdam, Strangelove, and Dirty Little Roddy's in downtown Boise, still has questions. What I think uh, I'm confused about and most people in our industry is how did you come up with that plan? His other question is about the plan itself. Phase two of the governor's plan allows for dining rooms to reopen in restaurants as long as they follow social distancing guidelines. But bars and nightclubs have to wait until phase four, nearly a month after the dining rooms. I think they just characterized all bars, nightclubs, concert halls in one large group, and it needs to be broken down a little further. It's a similar thought Michael Francis has. He founded and runs Pay It Brewing Company in Boise. I'm glad that there's a plan in place. I think the last month has been, there's so many uncertainties and things are changing so fast that it's, it's hard to plan for an opening date when it seems to be a moving target. But he was shocked at the June 13th date. It was, it was further out than I, I expected. You know, I'm not a health expert, so uh, I can't pretend to, to know better than they do. And he does wonder about the difference between the tap room at Payette and a restaurant. You know, how is that vastly different than, you know, if, if uh, all the safety measures are in place for someone to have a beer in a bar? Uh, so th that is definitely a question that I have. A spokesperson for the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare sent this statement that says, in part, restaurants can more readily allow for physical distancing and sanitation in a more controlled environment. Bars tend to be more standing room only and are more closely packed. Both Challenger and Francis told me they've started working on their plans to reopen their businesses, and both of them received PPP loans, so they're getting by right now, but they can't wait to get back to work. In Boise, Joey Prechtel, Idaho's News, Channel 7.